I want to bring in Senator Jeff Merkley of Oregon. Senator Merkley, I should make very clear, not only has a proposal to deal with this, but has been <coughs> aggressive uh, over the past few years in trying to prevent this from happening. Uh, and Senator, we, we are glad to have you here. How thoroughly do you feel that the American government understands how the banks are, are doing what they're doing to people like B and Terry Garwood? I'm not sure the administration has a real grip on it. I was encouraging uh, President Obama to address the, the wave of foreclosures and the failures in the HAMP program in his State of the Union and to lay out a renewed effort to assist our families facing foreclosure. We didn't hear that in the State of the Union, and we heard, haven't heard a kind of an aggressive understanding of the, of the problems in the program and that we can do much more, not just to fix the HAMP program by ending the dual track, by creating a single point of contact, but we can do a lot more between the moment of families in trouble and foreclosure to try to have a win-win that keeps families in their homes, keeps children in the schools, and stabilizes our communities. Yeah. One of the more cynical interpretations of what's going on here, however, is that HAMP is working, except it's working for the banks as it was designed to do, that the banks didn't want to have to foreclose on a bunch of houses at once, <coughs> that this allows them to effectively mislead people like B and Terry Garwood uh, into lower payments so that then the, the bank can come back six, nine, or 12 months later, as Josh Rosner has suggested in his research, uh, take the house and distribute, if you will, the risk so that the banks can continue to collect their bonuses uh, while spreading uh, the foreclosures over multiple quarters. Listen, the story you're describing, the Garwoods experience, is, is very common. I just met with a group of families out in Oregon. Many of them were talked to by their servicer who said, hey, why don't you try this program? And they hadn't yet failed to make any payments. So they were, the program was suggested, they were told they were good candidates, and then fees started to pile up, so the servicer starts to make a lot of money off fees but they don't, that they don't make when a family is making their payments. And, but there isn't the full commitment to actually do the modification that would assist the family in the end. So I think we have to fully explore this because it does seem like something's gone terribly awry. I mean, Terry, in your experience, did you feel uh, that you were, were even dealt with in, in a direct and, and honest manner no I, I don't I didn't at all um, you know it, it to me it was a scam from the beginning um, looking back at it now I just it, it was just a real poorly ran um, set up um, right from the beginning I mean even the payments that you the modification yeah. payments you'd make you think they were going to Chase Bank and they weren't. I mean, they went into a foreclosure immediately from when we yeah. signed up for this, uh, which they didn't clue us in on either. Yeah. You know, it's uh it, it's a mess yeah. uh, and I can't believe that it's legal. Yeah. I, I just there's it's it's a mess. Yeah, Senator, uh, briefly, what has to happen to get the American people a real investigation into the relationship between the banks, uh, uh, the treasury uh, and these programs? Well, we've got to pursue it in the Senate Banking Committee. We now have enough stories from enough places that I think we can have a real exploration. But it isn't just fixing HAMP. We have to do so much more. We need to give lifeline bankruptcy yeah. power to bankruptcy judges to intervene. We need to have mediation, mandatory yeah. mediation that creates a foreclosure fire yeah. break. We need to have a national short refi program that enables some families who are very high interest rates and very high mortgages to repurchase their own home. Yep. No, I, 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 listen, keep us posted. We know that you are an advocate for all this Arthur sensational coverage today. Check it out on the front of the Huffington Post. B and Terry, thank you for sharing your story with us. And Senator Merkley, uh, thank you for joining us.